Oh, there you are. Hi. Welcome back to my series where I see how much weight I can gain in a 30-day vlog. This is episode two. Let's get into it. Okay, so it's chest day, and on episode one, I forgot to do weigh-in, so let's go do a weigh-in real quick. Okay, so on the scale, we got 117. So now let's get into the chest workout. I'm going to finish my warm-up, and then we'll get into it. But, so I'm just going to skip the warm set to the actual set. So, see you in a minute. Okay, so I finished my warm sets. So, now I can get into my first set of inclined bench. But, before we can work out, or I can, I can just do some music. Nice. Okay, but, so, before I start, I need to say something. So, Sorry for bad angles, because I'm filming on a chair, so soon I'll get something better. And sorry for, like, I apologize for whenever, like, my, like, voice is quiet or scratchy, because, like, I always work out in the morning, but now it's, like, one, so, okay. Anyway, I'm gonna talk, let's get into the workout. Alright, so first up, we got 65 pounds on the bench press. Okay, I'm gonna do one more set and then move on to some pullovers. Okay, so I actually just skipped my last, like, like I just didn't film the last set because I don't want to be too boring, but so now I'm gonna do flat dumbbell bench press with starting with the 20 pound dumbbells and then 35s. But yeah, so today though, I'm gonna do full day of eating. So let's get into the workout. Okay, so now it's time for the 35 pound dumbbells. And this is heavy. I can do maybe five reps. So let's get into it. Yeah, that's heavy. So now I'm gonna do some. Hmm. Now I'm gonna do some pullovers. So see you at the polls. Okay, 20 pound pullovers. I might do 35 pounds. Last time I did that, my bicep hurt afterwards for like like a couple days. Let's get into it.
So now I'm gonna do I'm gonna try 35s, try not to injure myself though. But it's kinda hot down here. So I'm just gonna do it shirtless, but also it's like thicking. I'm sure what's going on. So see you there. Okay, so now 35 pound dumbbells. Cool. Quick shoulder check. Okay, good. Okay, so yeah. let's do this. And let's try not to hurt ourselves. So. This bench is cold. Okay, that was a good set. Now we're gonna do. Did I do my second set of pump bench? Yeah, I did. Okay, so now we're gonna do a set of flat bench and then incline dumbbell bench and then flies and then that's it and then food. Okay, so now we're gonna do two sets. This, but I'm only gonna record one set because don't wanna bore you guys. But. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, so man, this song's fine, but whenever I go to failure, which usually every time, I just kind of roll it like off my chest. But since I didn't have a shirt on, it's like it was tension. Like, so yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more set, but all you're gonna be seeing dumbbell bench press. So I'll see you at the dumbbells. I hope I don't look like an idiot doing this. Oh, that's cold.
Okay, so now only thing we got left is the incline dumbbell press. <laughs> okay, so it's time for the incline dumbbell bench press. And with 35s. But yeah, it's kind of crazy how much stronger I've gotten past two months. I remember, like, whoop! Like, I'm pretty sure in summer, me and my friend worked out together here. I got this for one rep. Barely. Like, barely even got up. Oh, I think it's slipping. Okay. Okay, maybe I'm not strong enough. Okay, so I thought I could definitely do more. Maybe it's because I did flat, so I can definitely do a lot more flat than incline. So let me just check the time. So I'm gonna wrap up the workout on this and then I'll show you or I'm gonna do full day of eating. And it's one. Okay. Okay, so for after workout, you have some delicious egg fried rice. But yeah, so for the channel. So me and my friends we're doing like so we're all starting like YouTube channel about bodybuilding because we're all trying to like better ourselves. And so we're trying to see who gets a hundred subscribers first. I'm not asking you to subscribe, but can if you want to, but so about me. I'm just your average fitness influencer. I just started and I just want to try and inspire people to work out. Because if you work out, you'll better yourself. And yeah, so I'm trying to inspire people to work out. So yeah, that's just what I'm trying to do. Average like person who's trying to inspire people to work out. But yeah, so it's meal number one, and I'm gonna finish it, and then, and then I'm gonna show next meal. Okay, so now it's dinner, and we got meal number two. We got some. So this is Persian macaroni. It's macaroni and ground beef. So. High protein. Or it should be high protein because it's also got beef. Mm. But yeah, so this is the third meal. And I will see you at the next meal. Okay, so today is the final meal of the day. Now we're having 1,000 calorie protein shake. So I'm going to show you how to make it in case you want to try it. Okay, so first up, we got ice cubes, so it's cold because it tastes better cold. Picking. Okay. So, what I do is I put in four ice cubes. And then, yeah. Okay, so second up, I usually put two bananas, but I only have one banana, so add one banana. Okay, so now we have peanut butter. I use Kraft peanut butter, but you can use whatever peanut butter that you want to use. But so I use a food scale for like better like tracking. So what I do, so 892. So what I do, so I have the macro tracker, and then we go calculator. Let's move. So, what was it? 892 minus. So, you can put as much peanut butter as you want. I put a lot because more peanut butter, more calories. But, 
if you want like if you have like a food scale and you want like exact stuff it's all it's different each time but i'll give you stuff right now so now it's at 706 so 76 so 186 grams so now we go macro tracker dinner One eighty six. Yeah. Mm, wow, a lot. So, one thousand one hundred sixteen calories just from peanut butter so far. So track that, and then we got protein powder. You can use any protein powder. I use chocolate caramel fudge from Biolex, but you can use any protein powder. I feel like chocolate probably works the best. But, so. One scoop of protein powder. Then. Oh, here. So, what you do if. So, if you do have a food scale, change it to milliliters. Oh, fix this. So change some milliliters, your milk. So what I do is I weigh the carton first, and then I minus that. So, so we got 614 minus 123. And what I do now. Just pour in some milk, then weigh it again. Minus 455. 36 milliliters. Probably more. Get the freak away. Fly. Fly out. And that is it for how to make a protein shake. Okay, so everybody, that concludes episode two of my series where I see how much weight I, weight, weight I can gain in a 30-day bulk. I will see you next time. So, approximately 3,000 calories this whole entire day. I will see you in episode three.